Agent, it's Dr. Candle. I want to stress to you the vital importance of safeguarding any civilians you may come across. The math says some of those people must have survived the dollar flu. That means they've got antibodies to it that I need to have a hope in hell of fighting this thing. And the ones who are just sick, having a broader genetic diversity of virus samples will help us track the virus's rate of mutation. Which is a long way to say, keep those people alive until I get what I need from them. Got that? Great. Active X. to hear this. Faye tells me the cleaners are holding the entire tent city prisoner. That's what it looks like, and it fits the cleaner MO. If you wanted to eradicate every last vestige of detectable virus, where would you wherever the biggest concentrations are? Refugee camps, shanty towns. Jesus, you don't think they draconian solution, but highly effective. Sure, if you're a genocidal maniac. You ever wonder if we even deserve to survive this thing? Every day, Doctor. Every day. Good luck. Warning. Contamination levels increasing. You hear that, Agent? You're walking into the teeth of it now. Don't forget what I said about keeping any infected to be alive. But I need those virus samples, and I really need viable antibody samples from survivors. So, extra alive, I guess. You know what I'm saying. I'm going back to work now. Candle out. Signature of explosives detected. Confirmed. It's Napalm B, all right. With that much capacity, they must be planning to burn out the whole damn yard. And when they do, they're gonna kill every last refugee in that shanty town. We need that tank moved somewhere safe.
Okay, I'm gonna be locked the situation down. I've got a joint Sarah JTF strike force ready to move in. They'll take samples from as many refugees as they can find. Medical personnel? A couple of EMTs in the mix, Doctor. Yes. A couple? As in only two? The rest are first aid certified. They know how to tap a vein. Get going, Age. Without contaminating the samples, I assume. Or infecting themselves, yes. I'll take your word for it. Thank you, Doctor. Get moving, Agent. This is Dr. Candle. Sampling team, can you hear me? Patel here. Go ahead, Doctor. Oh, Lieutenant, good. You guys to log intake info from everybody you get a sample from. Age, gender, ethnicity, general state of health on a 10-point scale. Then label and group the samples according to... Excuse me, Doctor. But maybe this could wait until we get confirmation the op is actually complete. You saying you don't have faith in your agent? Focusing on the task at hand. Lieutenant, we'll radio the doctor as soon as the area is secure. Yes, ma'am. Don't worry, Doctor. We'll get it all worked out. Sorry, the survival of the human species we're talking about. <sighs> Copy that, Doc. Patel, out. It's not too late for us. Let's do what we gotta do. Might not be too late for the rest of the country. Just don't worry. Get in there. You know what to take. Everybody goes all in. Agent, if you can find the crane controls, drop that tank someplace safe. Team, listen up. Like I was saying, I'm gonna need those blood samples labeled and organized so we can track corroborating factors. Let's move this discussion to a different channel so we don't bore the agent. Agent, it's Dr. Candle. I want to stress to you the vital importance of safeguarding any civilians you may come across. The math says some of those people must have survived the dollar flu. That means they've got antibodies to it that I need to have a hope in hell of fighting this thing. And the ones who are just sick, having a broader genetic diversity of virus samples will help track the virus's rate of mutation. Which is a long way to say, keep those people alive until I get what I need from them. Got that? Great. 